Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be working on my Nissan Skyline that's hiding in the garage. And we are going to be fixing a very sp special thing. Actually, I would consider that the biggest issue with the car right now. And not actually right now, it has been really bad for a while now. And I am super, super excited or, you know, I'm not excited, but I, it's going to be good to get it fixed. And that is exactly what we are going to do today. So I've never done it before, so I hope it's not too difficult, but I think I will manage it. Now I will drive the car out of the garage and you will actually hear what's wrong. And when I film these clips of me driving this car out of the garage, I always film them like really far away. Like this, I always have like a tripod right here and I zoom in so it looks like this. And the reason I do that is because you do not hear so much at, of what's going on in the engine of the car. But today I will put you up real close so you can actually hear all the noises. So let's put the tripod I have right here. And now we will drive the car out and you can hear for yourself. Remember to subscribe and like this video. That would mean a lot and help the channel. Now, let's get it out of the garage. actually the squeaking it's something else but can you hear it take a listen to this can you hear this it's bad so when I'm going to turn the car around now and I'm using so much force right now it's the steering wheel is super hard you hear all these noises it's not good with one hand ah wow now it's really bad do you hear this it's so bad ever since like the summer last year it has been terrible that's the hair of the noise it's making that's terrible I mean, it's so hard to turn and it makes that noise. Not good, not good at all. I have actually bought a new power steering pump for an R34 GTT Skyline. So this is what we're going to install today. And this, this is used and it took me seriously like three or four months to source this during the winter time. So I'm glad I found one. And today we're going to mount it and hopefully this does not make any noise and now the car will be good if people think this car is missing fluids i can show you this is the reservoir for the power steering pump and you pull it off like that and you can see this is kind of hard to see but yeah it's full you see right to the edge there it's super full so that is not the issue that is one way to do it but you will most likely break the bolt so it's not a good idea but the wheel here has some holes in it so if you make those if you are lucky you can match those up if you're not lucky you will simply have to start the car and stop it again and then hope for the best so i'm actually quite lucky right now because i see that i can put a socket in that hole and hit the bolt so i will do that first because that is what is like holding the whole pump and i don't know why it has squeaky belts because i have these are brand new and that is brand new i swapped them last summer so i don't know but um, yeah, let's begin. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, it spins. Wow, that was surprisingly easy. Woo, wow, we got the first bolt out. Great. Okay, I am using the pump I have here to see where the brackets are. I thought I would remove that bolt, but that's, see now it doesn't matter. I need to remove this bolt and it seems like I need to remove that bolt right there. 
and because that seems to have a bracket attached to the car, I would assume. See that. Not these two actually, but I have removed the one down there that I showed you. And now I can actually push it down and take, you see here? I can push it down so I can take off that. Now that's off. Yeah, now it's all loose. And I think actually now we will take that thing off. It looks like that's kind of like a banjo bolt. It's just the same in Norwegian as English. I will assume they will spill some oil. So I have actually jacked up the car a little bit and we got this one under here. So we will not spill on my driveway. So let's try to loosen that and see what happens. Okay, silly me. This thing turned around while I loosened it, so I managed to not loosen it. Now I can loosen it properly. Yeah, I mounted the bracket again. So, and then I was able to loosen this thing. Much easier. So. Now there is simply an oil drain underneath, which I did not see before. Uh, that we need to also remove Now the final piece of the process to get this off is actually remove this hose It's a clamp that I will remove then take it off then we can install this new one And we can see some power steering fluids Ah oh, yes got it perfect perfect this is how it looks right now without the power steering pump in here you see that's the bracket holding it that was the one bolt I was talking about and then we have the banjo bolt and yeah I'm going to take some brake cleaner here and clean things up and then we can mount a new one so far so good it's taking a little bit longer than I thought but I think installation will go faster than dismounting because now we don't have any bolts that are stuck or nothing so I have most likely used a little bit over one hour but nevertheless I'm happy now I have cleaned everything off with brake cleaner and we are ready to install the new pump and I will do everything in reverse order. So the first thing I will do is actually to mount that first. Then I will mount this thing on right there and then I will mount it back there and then this one, that's the, lo that's the long one, the one we have right there and then that one. When I've done all of that, I will fill with some new fresh power steering fluid. Then I will raise the car up, fill some oil in there and turn the wheels, start the car and turn the wheels and do everything. I will do that with wheels in the air though, so it is not much resistance. Yeah, I have actually also used this brush on the wheel right here. So I hope I will not have any more squeaking when the car is starting, but yeah, I'm excited to see. Hopefully no more squeaking. Here we have the pump right here. Let's get it down there. It will be like so. Oh yeah, the pump is finally in the car, looking pretty fresh. We got the belt on, everything should be good. Now we just need to fill some oil. I have bought, I read online on some forums that I should use Dexron number three. That's, it's usually automatic transmission oil. It's the same as power steering fluid. Dextron 3, that is what you should use at least on Nissan Skyline RB25. I have jacked up the car. So both front wheels are in the air. That's important. And then we will fill up as much as I can. Let it go through a little bit, then refill. Then start up the car, then turn backwards and forward with this cap open to let air out. That's how you like bleed the system, okay, basically. Okay, let's go. Here we have the oil. Let's fill up what we can. And the oil capacity of the power steering system is one liter. I will fill to max now because I know it will go something through the system as well. Okay, now it's full. If you see right here, now it is completely full. 
So when I start up the car now, I think it will go more through the system and I will turn back and forward and I hope the noise is gone. Let's see. equally bad or is there something else that's wrong it's not good i've spent all afternoon it's night now it's saturday night oh i spent so many hours on this job and oh. do i have to spend more even more this was not cheap that pump i spent 400 euros or something on that pump and it's used if i have to buy a new one damn that would be super expensive and more work Damn, I just want to enjoy the car. It's so easy for you guys because you guys can just watch the video and know that in probably in the next video or something I will fix the car, but to me, I have to do the job. It sucks so bad. could have just bled the old power steering system with the old pump maybe that could have been a solution i don't know but right now it actually sounds good and when i turn i don't hear any noise so maybe it was just air in the system that made it have noise i don't know let's do another test oh there Maybe there's still some air in the system, I don't know. Yeah. I will just let it sit at idle for like 10, 20 more minutes and then clean up and hopefully it's good by then. I have been idling up for like half an hour or something, around half an hour. So now let's try to actually turn with the car on the ground and see if it makes any noise. Because now it actually does not make any noise anymore. So I think it was simply air in the system, that's it. So I know I was very nervous in the beginning because of course it sucks to do a job and it doesn't work but now I think we're good for now let's see if it actually works okay pretty good yeah that was very smooth success ok 
Okay, now let's get into the garage and I think I will say I'm happy with today's fix. Woo! Silky smooth! Oh yeah. Now we're done and actually it worked. So I am super excited about that. I mean, like I said in the beginning of the video, I am not excited about doing the job, but I'm really excited about the results. And now it turned out great. So now the car can rest and we will take it out very soon. And I'll make a new video about something actually very interesting that I need to fix ASAP because I can't actually drive the car now. I have to have it in the garage and I can't drive it on the road anymore. And because yeah, yeah. I'm going to explain everything in the next video, but it's not good. I need to, yeah, not good. Uh, DMV sent me a, a mail with some stuff, so no good. But anyways, I thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.